What's going on, guys? In this video, we're going to be breaking down the U Trips offensive scheme out of the U out of the New England Patriots playbook. We're going to be sharing one of my favorite uh, passing concepts. Again, this is found in the New England Patriots offensive playbook. If you've not already, um, if you've not already grabbed our New England Patriots offensive guide, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. If you want to get the entire offense, you can get the whole entire, uh, not just the U Trips offense, but the entire New England Patriots playbook. Uh, this playbook. Uh, covers the split close, the trips tight end, the bunch, the U trips, the A slot offset, as well as many other formations like the gun spread wide slot, and really every single formation in the New England Patriots playbook. So if you want to get that, I'm gonna leave a link to that guide in the description. Today we're gonna to go over um, a play from Madden 20 that I really like. It's called the Curl Flats. Um, this play is good in Madden 21. This also was really good in Madden 20, and I suspect it's going to be really good in Madden 22, just like I suspect the New England Patriots playbook will be the best playbook next season. And so this setup is really simple. You don't actually need um, Hot Route Master to be able to run this. And typically what we want to do is we want to have our three wide receivers on the wide side of the field. So as you can see, if we were on the other hash mark, I would just need to flip this play. But this is a really good concept, even when your opponent is Maybelline and doing yellow zones and things like that. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna put the square or the solo receiver on a hitch route and we're gonna motion him to the left side. And at the snap of the ball, what you're gonna see is that the yellow zone is not gonna get outside to defend this. It's actually going to leave it wide open. Let me show this to you again. So I'm gonna put a yellow zone um, on my defensive end and I'm gonna spread the defensive line just like this. Other than that, we've got kind of a traditional Mabel coverage look. And what you're gonna notice is when I put square on a hitch and I motion him to the outside, um, at the snap of the ball, this yellow zone is not gonna defend it. The running back's gonna pull that flat out of the way. And as you can see, we've got a very consistent little read that we can really work um, against zone coverage. Now, as far as man-to-man -man goes, uh, this route is actually still going to be fairly successful uh, against man-to-man. -man. But what I like to do is, if I know it's man, I'm going to smart route this hitch. But it doesn't really matter because you're going to see you're going to get this nice little subtle, um, this little subtle up um, kind of curl, just like that. And the trick is how do you pass lead this? So I'm shading. If they're shading up in man coverage, it's not going to be a problem. This is going to be a relatively simple little read. Uh, last year, this was a little bit more consistent, but this year against man, um, if I pass lead this to the, like, basically low ball and pass lead to the inside, you're going to be able to have this consistent read. Let me show you this one more time. Um, and again, Brady doesn't have Gunslinger. If you have Gunslinger, it's going to help a little bit, but we're just, all we're doing, now if you get something like that, just playmaker it up. And then you're just gonna lob over the top. As you can see right there, we can get a nice little over the top route if we need to against man to man. Now, the other way, again, that you're gonna typically throw this ball is you'll guarantee see like right here, you see how it kind of settles up and then I can just throw it. Now you see if we don't motion them out, they're gonna get this little automatic man switch on him, which is gonna not really do what we want it to do or really not be useful to us. That's why we like to motion them out. It also helps with the spacing um, of the offense, specifically against zone coverage. Let me show you this one more time. So again, this is really the look we're trying to get, and we're trying to get this inside. Now, again, Brady doesn't have Gunslinger. If you have Gunslinger, it's gonna help significantly. Uh, in Madden 22, I just wanna give a quick tip to everybody. No matter what formation you're running, if you wanna pass the ball next year, you need to be running Gunslinger. It's really, really important. But that's, that's what I'm looking for right there, the low ball. And I wasn't low passing on some of those throws, and that was causing me a little bit of problem. So when you low pass this, and you pass lead it to the inside, that's gonna make this hitch um, just really hard to defend. They're gonna have to use her over in that area. As you see right there, low ball passing inside, that's what we're looking for. And as you can see, we're able to consistently hit this. Now, this isn't the only read that we have against man-to-man -man coverage. If they do go man-to-man -man on us, another little trick that I like to use from this is something I learned from D. Croft, uh, uh, the professional Madden player that is really, really good at this formation. But basically, it's just to put the tight end on a quick little five-yard outcut. This five-yard outcut is simple, uh, but it's relatively a pretty, it's, it's, actually, it's, it's just really simple, but at the same time, it's really, really effective. Now, typically, their user um, they're going to basically put this guy in a zone and then they're going to put this guy in man-to-man -man from three through five. So 
you're going to see more of something like that. And the reason that that's significant um, is it's just going to help this beat me in a man. You're going to see cuts the outside. Um, now, if you get that little outside leverage like that, you know, then that's where, you know, again, you know, we can easily do some other things if we want to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage from that route. That route's not designed, it's not really designed to beat, um, like it's not designed as a primary route. It's just something that we, it's just something that we use. So, I mean, it will beat man, uh, like if I wait for it to outcut. But the big thing with that is route running. So if you have a tight end that has, um, if you put short in elite on your tight end, that will help significantly with the route running. So he'll get more open. Um, the other thing is like a lot of this is leverage. So one of the cool parts about U trips is the motion snapping that we can do. Now on this play, I didn't mean to motion over that curl, but we've already done that. We've already done the initial motion to the square receiver, but I want to talk about the other two routes. So the other two routes on this, on this is going to do really well against man to man. So the first one is this in cut uh, right here on this post. Now we have to assume that it's very likely that their user is going to be guarding that post. It's just something that kind of a, a general uh, guide, you know, when people are defending U trips is their user is going to be guarding that slot. That's just kind of something we generally think. Um, so that's why this motion out is so important because if they're running man to man, then we can just take that square receiver. The other thing is we have this nice route to circle right on the cut, easy read against man to man. So you do have plenty of options against man to man. Another type of man to man coverage I want to go over is shaded coverage up. Now with this, um, specifically with it like this right here, you're going to have um, these, these kind of underneath routes like this are going to get a lot more open. So your hitch is going to be wide open. Uh, the outcut to the tight end, typically you'll be able to just at least secure catch it or just basically, you know, be able just to kind of possession catch it, bring it in and just keep the chains moving. And then obviously your other two routes on this are gonna be man to man as well. So like your your route to, to R1 uh, will typically kill man to man over the middle, low ball right there, easy read. And then also your curl to circle. So you're able to beat a lot of different styles of defense. The other thing I wanna quickly hit on is if their user starts to go to the left side to defend the curl, uh, that we're up to the hitch that we're putting on Antonio Brown and really try to get aggressive over on that side of the field Then you're gonna see that it's gonna open up this low ball right over the middle here to the post So again, we have to anticipate that typically their user is gonna want to defend the post to the curl um, That's just kind of a general guide for what people like to do against this play and so when we assume that then it allows us to kind of create this little high low combination off of it the other thing that we've got on this is this curl to the circle receiver, low ball, pass lead down and inside. And as you can see, you're able to consistently hit that against the zone defense. One other little tip, and the reason why I like to like, uh, I like to use things like tight end out routes specifically against zone is because you'll notice that because of the placement of the tight end, because of where he actually is, at the snap of the ball, he's gonna take a second to get out and you can actually throw him quick over the middle just like that. Now again, you wanna anticipate that their user, so for example, let's say that they put a cover zero blitz on you. So some kind of quick pressure and they're gonna use her you know, right in that little area. Well, the cool part about this is a tight, something as simple as a tight end little quick out um, is gonna be pretty effective. You're gonna see just pass lead it and then get a little bit of a truck animation and then you can get out and, and make some plays with Kronkowski. So you've got options against the blitz if they blitz you quick off either edge. So with the with the other side of the coin on this left side, if they send pressure, um, if they send pressure off that linebacker, then we can simply, you see how that purple is gonna take care of that. Now that's a very specific zone, okay? I just wanna be clear, that's a very specific zone that they have to play. Uh, to take that away, but what that's going to leave open is it's going to leave this running back route open. So if you suspect the blitz, I'd honestly probably keep square in, but if they blitz you, pass lead there, and then just do a little air shrug as you can see, and you're going to get a couple yards easy against any defense. So this is a fun little play. It, it really is a good. It, it really is a good passing concept. This this concept right here um, is a lot a lot of fun. And, and again, you can hit either that flat or that hitch 
with a lot of ease. The other thing, if you want to keep the curl, you certainly can. I just, if I'm going to keep that curl route, I'm definitely going to motion him out. Um, you're going to see it's going to create that space over on that side to be able to throw that ball. So this is a lot of, uh, this is just a lot of checkdowns. Honestly, this specific play, it's more of a yard gaining type of play, just something simple to throw at any defense. So if you want to learn the rest of the New England Patriots offensive guide, I go over not just the U trips offense, but also go over every single formation in the New England Patriots playbook. You can get that offensive guide down in the description below. It will help you prepare for not only Madden uh, the rest of the season, but also help you prepare for next season. Because I think that a lot of these formations in New England are going to be really, really effective in Madden 22. So thanks for watching. And if you want to get my New England Patriots offensive guide, then you can get that down in the description of this video.